Hey everybody, it's Joe from PocketNow.com and I've got a little bit of a treat for you today. This is a HTC Sprint Hero and the problem with this phone, it, it's a gorgeous phone but it's stuck up with Android 1.5 so a lot of the apps that I've been showing you in my previous videos just aren't available. They don't run on it. So Sprint has promised us that they are going to release an update to Android 2.1 for this really really nice phone but we haven't seen it yet. In fact, we've had lots of rumors and lots of missed dates. They just say that they'll get it to us sometime in first half of 2010. The first half is quickly going away and we just missed another rumor to update window. But as part of that, somebody found a leaked version of the ROM and I just happened to get my hands on it. So what I'd like to do is show you how to install that on your HTC Sprint Hero. So let's go do that. Okay, the first thing that you're going to need in this process is the HTC Sync software, which you can get by going to htc.com. Uh, you'll want to navigate into the support section and then into product support for the HTC Sprint Hero. You can see the page here on screen. See that there are two downloads. One is the user manual, which if you've lost yours, there you go. And the other one is the HTC Sync update version 2.0.33. That lets you do some synchronization and some other stuff that we're not going to worry about. But the main thing we need out of that is the drivers. So I've gone ahead and installed that on the machine. And I'm going to plug in the phone here. And right away, you'll see HTC Sync up here, USB connected. So we've got all of that done. That's great. The first time you plug this in, you're going to have to go through quite a bit of a process while it goes through and detects all the drivers. Uh, it took me about five, maybe eight minutes to do that. But once you've done that, you're great. The next thing that we need to do is run the update, which in this case is the RUU Hero Sprint 22765 1.5R something. I'll have a link to that in the article notes so you can find where to get that. Now, this is an unofficial ROM. It is not supported by Sprint, but it is signed by Sprint. So this is, as far as you can tell, exactly 100% legitimate. They just decided to pull it before they released it uh, while they went through and did some other stuff. Rumor has it that was so that they could uh, pull some tethering capabilities out of it. Uh, so this might actually be a better ROM than the one that they finally release when they do that. So we're going to go ahead and run this. And Windows is going to tell me that it needs UAC or permission to run that in administrator mode. So we'll go ahead and say yes to that. It'll run through the first time. Now it's very important that you have a, uh, a good charge on your battery when you start this process. Um, ROM flashing is very tricky. You don't want to run out of juice in the middle of it. Luckily, we're getting power through the USB cable as well. So we're going to let this churn for just a little while. Say that we understand and agree to all the stuff in the README. Go next. And turn on your Android phone, connect to your PC using the USB cable provided. We've done that. Disable the standby and hibernation mode on the PC. We've done that. And make sure the battery power is more than 30%. We're going to hope that's the case. We will check the box. And we will hit Next. Verifying the information on the Android phone. Please wait. Okay, and we're going to say Next. Continue. The image version here is 1.56.651.2. And we are going to click the update button. Okay, the current version, it says, is 1.56.651.2. So that last screen was identifying what version is currently on the phone. The new version is going to be 2.27.651.5. And we'll hit next continue because that looks right. Uh, during the update process, the following things are going to occur. The Android phone will be prepared for the update process. The progress information will be displayed both on the PC screen and on the Android phone. And the update completed screen will be displayed on the PC. So we'll say next to that. It reboots the phone up into the bootloader, which should take a minute or so.
And as you can hear, it's loading up some uh, additional drivers. The Android bootloader interface just installed successfully, so that's good. And at this point, it's sending the ROM over to the phone. This is actually downloading that ROM image onto the phone itself. And it says that this process will take about 10 minutes. So I'm going to cut right here because I don't want you to sit and look at the HTC logo for over 10 minutes. And we'll be right back when there is more cool stuff to show you. Okay, so after about three minutes, we've gotten to the point where it's updating the signature on the phone, and the status bar, which before filled the entire bar, is now over to this point. So it cycled all the way through once, and now it's to the next stage, and it's showing us how far through that process we are. Again, we're about three minutes into the flashing process. Right now it's updating the radio, and we now have a status bar on the phone itself. Okay, at this point we've just passed 100%. Some user data was updated on the phone. I don't know exactly what that is right now, but we now have a congratulations screen that says the ROM update has been completed. We're going to go ahead and click on finish. And over on the phone itself, you'll see that the HTC logo is up. Uh, like I've said in previous videos, first boots sometimes can... Okay, so what I've done is I've gone into the settings screen, specifically into the software information. You can see we're running Android 2.1 Update 1 with a baseband version of 2.42.01.04.27. Kernel version is 2.6.29-BC0D2CFF, whatever all that means. Uh, and just a whole bunch of cool stuff. Browser version is 3.1. Uh, primary version 2.20, PRL is 60664, and that, I hope, is enough to convince you that we're running Android 2.1 on this phone. Uh, some things that I can't show you, there are no live wallpapers that come with this. If we come in, and I keep forgetting, uh, this is a Sense device, so we get to the wallpaper from going to Menu and Wallpaper, but you'll notice we now can apply wallpaper to the home screen and to the lock screen. I don't know if that's an addition or not. We have an option for photos and HTC wallpapers, but no live wallpapers. That's simply because this doesn't have the 1 gigahertz processor that the newer Android 2 devices have, like the Nexus 1 and the Desire uh, and the HTC Incredible. It's a little bit slower, so they've taken some things out. That's the first one. The second thing is, and I don't know where they have filed this away is over here if we look at the photo gallery the photo gallery is just the stock gallery it's not the 3d gallery which theoretically means that you're gonna have the full color photos uh, and not the 16-bit photos that you have on the other version as well so uh, those are the only two things that I'm aware of that this version of Android 2.1 doesn't have that other 2.1 versions do have. Um, as you can tell from here, this is really, really snappy. It's really quick. Uh, it still looks gorgeous. It still has that HTC Sense UI on top of it. And overall, I'm really impressed with it. One thing that I do want to check here before we go, and that's pinch to zoom because I know a lot of you are interested in that. So let's see if we have pinch to zoom here in the browser. And look at that. Pinch to zoom. Just like that. Beautiful. You also have pinch to zoom on the home screen where you can pinch to zoom and see all two, four, five, six, seven screens right there. Select which one you want and it animates back. Again, pinch to zoom that in thumbnail view or zoom out just by tapping. So, really, really cool. Your first look at Android 2.1 running on the HTC Sprint. This is not an unlocked phone. It has not been rooted. This is an official, yet leaked, ROM. And there you go. So, for PocketNow.com, I'm Joe Levi.